back. Good to be back. I was off for two days because I had the flu. It sucked, let me tell you. I've done a video over uh, working out while sick, while sick, working out while sick, and it's just not something you should do. I didn't do it. The reason being is because you don't recover properly from being sick, and you also don't really make any any progress while being sick either. You're just not doing yourself any favors by working out while sick. So yeah, I followed that principle and I didn't work out while I was sick. So I've been off for the past few days. Luckily, Monday was one of the days I was off anyway. So it didn't really affect me that much because I only have one, I have one day off. And then I had a push day on Tuesday. So I didn't get to go. I missed my push day. So what am I going to do about that? Is it going to affect me any? No, not really. What's going to happen is I'm probably going to just do push day today, do pull tomorrow, and do legs the day after that. So one of the days I would have had off, I'm not going to take off. My thought process is I've already had the days off anyway uh, to recover from the flu. You're supposed to take those days off in between to recover from your exercises. What I'll do is just pick one of those days up and not take a rest day in between. That way my schedule ends up lining back out. It's not gonna affect me negatively anyway, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm pretty good at recovering as far as like muscle recovery. I don't normally get too much pain or anything like that, so that's the idea. That's what I'm gonna do. Today is going to be a push day. I'll go in, work on my bench, get all that straightened out, see how all that goes. Excited. All right, so about to head in the gym. Like I said, today is a push day. Today is also Veterans Day and I doubt this is going to be up on Veterans Day, but I for one would just like to thank all the veterans out there that have served for us, on behalf of us. I know a few veterans, one of which is my deceased friend, Kevin Dixon, uh, his brother, Anthony Dixon. He's totally awesome. Total BA. <laughs> uh, Daniel Knighty, their stepbrother. Uh, Adam Thomas. I've known him since I was barely out of diapers, I guess. Been a long time, too long. Uh, my Uncle Larry, which is, uh, he was in Vietnam, long time veteran. To any other veterans, just because I don't know you or don't know your name, I just want to express how grateful I am of the service you've provided, the service you've done, you know, just to make it possible for me to go in the gym and get these gains. The freedom you've given me to do that is beyond anything that I can express and I'm sure the rest of the world, I'm sure the rest of the world feels the same way as I do. Thanks a lot guys. But that being said, going into the gym today to get this push workout done, I am shooting for, for 220 today on the bench. Let you guys know if I get it should be able to get up to 225 that's the plan that is that's four plates oh i'm super excited now hope i get it I'll let you guys know whenever i get out all right so just got out of the gym as you can plainly see i'm flushed look all nasty all gross and stuff i'm all sweating i didn't used to sweat a whole lot started uh bumping up my calories drinking a lot more water in the gym rather than just trying to, I don't know, drink water throughout the day. I drink way more in the gym. Was able to get up to 225. I'm super excited, I was so stoked. What, how did I, how did I warm up again? Uh, 135, I did the bar, 135, 185, of course, 205. Then I bumped it up to 215, which is what I did my max the last time I lifted. After that, I bumped it up to 225. This camera's all weird. Bumped it up to 225. Yes, super awesome. It's getting a little cocky there for a little bit. I, you know, I did 215 for two, then did 225. I decided to do that for three. I could have went more. That's what I. That's why I did it because I was trying to kind of see if I could, if I could do more than three, which obviously I can. I can do more than, or I mean, do more than two. Obviously I can. And after I did the third one, I could have probably made it to five. I'm like, all right. Don't ego lift, step it back a little bit. You're trying to progress, not trying to be ego lifting, more or less. <laughs> so I backed it down. 80% of 225 is 180. And like I said, I warmed up with 185. So yeah, I definitely wasn't gonna do 180 
especially since I was like, okay, I pushed three and I can go further. Knowing that you definitely, if you're if you're on the same path I am, you definitely need to step it up because you know your limit, you know you can go more 225 and I pushed three. Obviously I knew that, I felt that I could. And I probably could have jumped it up another 10 pounds and went to like 235, maybe, maybe. I was saying I could for sure. Knowing that I could push that 225 for three and it wasn't a big problem, I knew that I could take my working set up a little bit more. So I stepped it up to 190. So next time, according to all that, uh, if I jump up 10 more pounds again, I'm able to work 10 more pounds again, then I should be able to, you know, do like 200, theoretically, or 195. We'll see. I'm not totally sure what I'll be able to do exactly. Everything went well. Stepped everything up. And you know, I always hear this from a lot of people that, you know, the numbers, they really get into your head. They really do. And my rest periods before I actually start trying to do my working or my attempts are usually around two minutes, minute and a half, two minutes. And I probably don't need to rest that long. I probably need to cut it down unless I really feel like I'm fatigued. A lot of the time I don't time it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. A lot of the time I don't though because I just go by feel. If I'm not pushing what should be close to my max, then I probably shouldn't be resting the entire two minutes in my head. I mean, I could be wrong, I could be totally wrong. You know, I go ahead and I, I just kind of go by feel. So, but why I say the numbers mess with your head a lot is because in that whole rest period time, I kind of psych myself out like, oh, am I gonna have to jump the weight? Am I gonna have to do this? And that could really get in your head and you could fail the lift. I didn't because once I went down, I decided, I'm like, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this, you know, all positive thoughts pushing into my head. Another reason why I say this is I do two different types of dumbbell shoulder presses during my, my push movement or my push day. What I do is either I do a dumbbell press, which is basically a bench press with dumbbells, if you don't already know that, and I do a... Uh, a shoulder, a dumbbell shoulder press. Today, I only do the, dum the dumbbell press. I'm more like hypertrophy days when I'm trying to build up more to assist my my overall movement. So I kind of do it, you know, uh, every other time. I guess you not like not this pull or push day, but the next push day. That's when I would do it. So I didn't do it today, but it's in my list to be done still. Or what I did is I started working my shoulder press with the same weight I did my dumbbell press and guys my lifts aren't you know I, I brag about them because they're my lifts they're my progress they're what I make so I brag about them because I appreciate the fact the goals and everything I've done I don't really brag about them to anybody I more or less brag about them myself like yes I did it. I pushed yes I did this much you know I brag to my wife and stuff too you know because she is the person I go brag to <laughs> So what I did was I was doing dumbbell presses or shoulder presses with 50 pound dumbbells. And the last time I did them, I did them with uh, 45. So I jumped up five pounds and I, I, did the, I did everything I was supposed to do. I didn't realize until after I was done with all my sets. I'm like, wait a second, you know, and I got I'm like, oh, okay. I, I just did, I just PR'd with dumbbells. I don't think anybody should call a PR with dumbbells. Definitely not. Your PR should only be there for your staple movements, but you know, teach their own. Some people say they PR with dumbbells. That's that's fine. I'm not judging. I'm just saying that your PR should be with your staple movements. Anyway, I did uh, 50 instead of 45. And I did them all and I was like, huh, well there you go. Definitely a numbers game. It's all in your head. Imagine if you went from like pounds to like kilograms I mean as far if you're American imagine if you went from pounds to kilograms or if you're I guess it's European that does that everywhere else but America does that so if you go from pounds to or if you go to kilograms to pounds it's just like it's a total mind game you just messes with your head so yeah I was able to do it no problem so now I know my next you know I stepped up my my sets you know, the weight I use for my sets for dumbbell presses by accident. And I know I can do it because I did it. 
so there you go. So anyway, on my way to get my son, heading home from there. Make sure to like the video if you like the video. Comment and subscribe. Teach their own. Phone's ringing.